Hello. Do you still remember our Bismarck? If so, you probably know that it has a built-in LED installation, which I was hiding until the end of the model's building. Today, I'm going to present the whole process of installing the lights and customizing the model itself. Ok, the first thing right after cutting the parts out of the frames is to drill holes in the window locations. A 1mm drill bit fits very well here. Wonderful! With square windows and doors, we also have to deal somehow. Here I used a Dremel tool and some ordinary drill bit, but you can probably also handle it with a hobby knife. I immediately drilled the cable holes where the two superstructure pieces are to be joined. Ok, I bought such a plastic round transparent profiles which are used to make designer luminous areas. I got exactly 1mm diameter ones, which is the same as the pre-drilled window holes. I cut them into short sections, about 10mm, and put them in our windows. So far, everything fits perfectly. Excellent. I set our windows so that they are minimally inset and glue them from the inside. Very important. The model must be already painted, unless you want to mask each window. It's more convenient to paint the parts first and then play with the windows. It's time for soldering. I solder the LEDs with cables. I'm not a professional at this, but I'm sure the connection is strong. It would be better if nothing gets disconnected after gluing everything together. There will be no access to it later. Now it is time to put the installation in the hall. Let's see.
And now, a very important one. The screws that hold the model on the base do not just have a holding function, but as they are made of metal, they conduct electricity. One screw is positive and the other is negative. That is, there must be at least two. That's a lot of cables, but I'm going to close the hull with a deck right away, and I would rather have too many than too few. Before gluing the deck, I need to check that everything works. It's best to double check everything at each stage of building. Okay, I do the same steps with the superstructure. Where I have open doors and stairs in the superstructure, 
I have to build fake walls from pieces of plastic. Later, I will paint them black from the inside because they let light through. I will use transparent film and car window tinting film to make square windows. One of them is self-adhesive, so I have no problem joining them together. I glue the pieces so that they cover the windows. I correct everything with this wonderful specific, although it is not necessary. I thought the windows would be more glassy because of this. This piece of thin white plastic will diffuse the light of the LED. I tested the installation's effect without this element and the diode was visible through the windows. And now each window will be equally exposed. When the installation is inside, you can connect the elements. Time to make the base. To the wooden base I install a plug for the power supply cable. I bought it from an ordinary electronic store. I connect the cables with screws, remembering where is the positive and negative is.
It remains to finish the model with a few details, and done! Our model looks beautiful. I hope you to find in this video something useful. At this moment I would like to say a big thank you to my subscribers. There are already 1000 of you, and it's great to see the channel growing. Thanks to you, it will continue to grow. Once again, thank you very much.